What's up everyone? Welcome to your first tutorial in operating systems. And in these tutorials, I'm going to be going over some of the basics of command line operating systems. Now, if you think that these tutorials are going to show you how to use the operating system and save files and uh, move files around and how to get on the internet and play games and think again, because we're not going to be doing that this time. And what I'm going to be teaching you is how to build programs that you can run right on your operating system. Now, if you watch my tutorials before, a lot of the programs that we wrote you can only use with the internet. And if you were wondering how to use these right on your operating system, then that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. Just click the start button, all programs, series, and command prompt. And I know you guys have seen this thing before and maybe you never really knew what it was for. Well, we're going to be working with this a lot. So we're going to get used to it and this is what we're going to be going over today. Now as you see, the first thing that you see is the Microsoft Windows. This is your version of whatever operating system, but the more important thing, what we're looking at is right here. C, Documents and Settings, Administrator. Now if you're wondering what this is, then what this is, is basically click on my computer and if you don't have a shortcut it's in the start menu and what these are this C documents and setting these are all separate directories so this C is our hard drive so let's click on C and this documents and setting is another folder and uh, these uh, folders are just called directories it's the same thing so click on documents and setting and click on as you see administrator and every time you see a slash it means a new folder so click on that and as you see that's where we are what this command prompt is is pretty much a window looking into our computer so when you're running programs and you want to make a program that says alright go to the uh, documents and settings and see you can't actually tell the mouse to move and click it so you have to use a language that the computer can understand and that's what we're going to be doing with this so let's X out of this because this is for just for the user but we want to talk to the computer itself so we got to use this language so as you can see right now we're looking into the hard drive the documents and settings folder and the administrator folder just for our basics we don't want to be right here because there's nothing really that we can use right here so the first thing we want to do is change our directory just to the main basic hard drive so to do this type CD for change directory and then after that press a space and press backslash now this is a slash under the backspace now once you got cd space backslash press enter and as you can see this long c documents and settings changed to normal c this means we're looking right in our hard drive now and again your hard drive should be the c drive unless you mess something up now just to get started and then get our feet wet let's uh... just change a basic command there are a lot of things you can do from here but in this tutorial we're just going to be changing the date and time and looking at a version of whatever operating system we have so to change the date just type in date right after your hard drive and press enter what this is going to do is show you the current date now it says enter the new date in this format month day year and if you wanted to do that you would just press 09 and then you know whatever in that format but I really don't want to change this right now since it's right so I'm gonna let's change something that we can so just press enter and it will take you right back to your hard drive and let's change the time so just go ahead and type time and press enter and it says the current time is 2044 and it gives it to you in a military time it says enter the new time let's just change that by minute so we don't get too confused we'll go 20 45 
and the seconds don't really matter 25 43 and as you see right here down at my 44 when I press enter it changes to 45 that's when I press enter so this is useful whenever let's say your uh, battery fails on your motherboard and it forgets the time or when someone was setting up the computer and they enter the wrong time you can use simple commands like this and also when you're writing a program for Windows to change the time this is the command you use so let's just look at one more thing our commands we use so far aren't always you have to change things but if you want to get information so if you want to get information about what kind of operating system type VER and this stands for version and press enter and now you see Microsoft Windows XP and this is the version so in this tutorial we learn three basic commands date time and version but before you go out starting to write programs yet uh, you might want to check out my other tutorials but study this and it will give you a basic idea of how you can work with the computer and actually talk to a computer without using your mouse and actually from this command prompt you can do pretty much anything you can with a mouse so study this and get to know it a little better and keep watching my tutorials and we're going to be able to learn some amazing things thanks for watching